So the system is very simple. All you have to do is count frames. Watch the dial here. When it gets to 3500 RPMs, I'll go frame by frame. Okay, we just got it. Let's count together. 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 frames. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, and you see the number here, 16 frames. And then you do it for, for every 500 RPM and you get the whole uh, table. And you can actually see that uh, 16, 17 and 17, this is the quickest times, okay? Between 3,500 and 5,000, we're going to have very quick times, which means a lot of torque. Let's see it again. Now let's go to Excel. So I did a very simple table at Excel from RPM and to RPM. Those are the RPM from the movie, from the video. How many frames I counted. This is a conversion to how, many ta to how much time it took to get from 1000 to 1500 because we have uh, 30 frames per second 37 frames is more than one second 29 frames will be less than one second then this is a conversion of uh, rpm to speed because i have uh, for each gear it's different but you can see in the movie that uh, 6500 uh, was about 105 kilometers per hour and this is a conversion of uh, the speed and time to acceleration, to g-force. And you can see between 3500 and 4000, you can see I counted the, the least frames. So it's the least time, so it's the highest acceleration. Okay, now let's see the, the graph here. And this is a, 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 a graph that shows the number of frames I counted for each uh, RPM here. And you can see uh, in the mid-range there are less frames, which means the car was quicker. So the torque graph will actually be like a mirror image, because this graph goes down and then up. This uh, graph goes up and then down, because it's actually a mirror image. It's the same RPM here, the same RPMs, but this uh, y-axis is actually uh, torque in uh, kilograms meter. Now, how I computed the kilograms meter it will be in another video, but you can already easily make a graph like this, and then if you go to the same road with the same uh, car only with a, a slight modification that you made to your uh, engine you can see that this graph is changing and you can know that the torque was changed so if you actually made your car quicker and stronger you will have those bars actually uh, lower 